Hi friends, I'm not going to bore you with all my thoughts about transplanting this tree at the beginning. I'm going to get straight to the point and show you guys the steps that I'm taking to transplant this beautiful tree into this wine barrel. And at the end of the video, I'm going to talk to you about all my thoughts and concerns about transplanting it right now while it's flowering and a few other tips and food for thought. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy and find this video informative. Alright guys, this wine barrel actually has holes, so that's great for drainage. Now I don't want all my soil to get drained through there, so I'm going to be adding some netting to help with the drainage. So the products I'm going to be using to repot this, first I'm going to be using EB Stone Citrus and Palm. I love, love, love their Citrus and Palm. Um, soil it's one of the best in my opinion there's many ones out there that you guys can use and I have used them before and they work as well in my opinion when I repot things with this product it just works amazing and as you can see it produces fruit while in a container so um, they changed their package so this is a new bag I've never seen this bag before so that's interesting I'm gonna be using this soil I always add warm casting so as you guys know now some of you guys might ask me what's in here. I know this is a container for detergent. Um, the detergent wasn't actually in here and came in individual packages, so there's no contamination. I used EB Stone Sure Star. This um, helps get your helps your plant um, to prevent from going into shock, and it also helps it get established in its new container. And I'm also going to be adding some homegrown compost. I just harvested and there's some worms in here so that's gonna be a great thing for my um, for my new transplant you see the worm right there so this is some home worm. I don't need a lot just a little bit goes a long way so I'm going to be using this and that's all guys so let's get to it Alright guys, as you can see, I'm going to remove the mulch from this container, that way when I tilt it over, it doesn't spill all over and I can still reuse the mulch. As you can see, the tree was really in there, so we had to get an extra tool to kind of loosen it up and wiggle it out of there. So you can see now that it's loose. We're going to pull it. The roots are doing amazing. It's not root bound, so that's a good sign. As you can see here, I'm having my husband tilt the tree in a direction that I wanted to sit. And then what I did is I went ahead and added more soil, more sure star, and more worm casting. So it has even amount of all these elements and I stuffed it right under the tree so it can sit in the direction that I want it to sit. What I'm going to do next is just go ahead and continue to add the soil and the items that I want included in the soil and just stuff it on the sides to make sure there's no air pockets and then it's completely packed in there. I'm going to continue to add some more soil until I feel that this tree is completely compact after that i'm going to take the recycle mulch that i saved from earlier and go ahead and put it on top don't forget that all citrus love having mulch but make sure that you don't put it close to the trunk so we don't get any trunk rot now just a little tip citrus actually have little feeder roots that are underneath the first layer of the soil therefore the mulch is a must do when it comes to citrus trees if you want them to produce and have your bloom stick around and create a wonderful fruit okay now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a trellis because since I'm limited in space and I'm pushing this tree against this corner as you can see 
Um, I want these branches to spread out and that way it can grow in a dusty layer. If I ever decide to transplant this tree into the ground, it's going to have to go near a wall. So growing it and training it as Belair definitely helps. And as you can see, like I mentioned earlier, I'm adding the recycle mulch and making sure that I am not touching the trunk with it. Lastly, we're going to prepare the little corner of my garden where it's going to be at for the rest of his life. And as you can see here is a tiny little spot, but we are going to make it work. Now, once we put all the soil in the tree in this wine barrel, it was extremely heavy and this was definitely a hard task, but I'm glad I had my husband to help me. And now I'm glad that this task is done. We finally cut at this tree and we pushed it as far as we could. I wish it can go about half a foot a little further, but it's just nearly impossible to push this because it's so heavy and there's um, soil there that's kind of stopping it, the container from it being pushed. Maybe I'll try a little later or maybe I'll wait till, um, I don't know, when I'm feeling stronger. But tip of advice, when you guys repot a tree, just make sure that you guys put the pot where you want it to end up because once you put the soil and the tree in it, it's going to be super, super heavy like you guys seen us struggle pushing this in. But the last step, oh well, before the last step, just make sure that you pick up all your mess because once you water, it's going to get muddy. So I went ahead and did that and I actually used it as mulch. I also added the mulch that um, that I saved from, it, from the other container. And what I'm going to do is just sprinkle a little fertilizer because I haven't fed this tree. And what I'm going to use is EB Stone Organic Citrus and Fruit tree food it's 100 percent organic and i've been using this on all my trees since i started gardening and i'm just going to do a little handful as you can see just a handful sprinkle it Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. Today I'm coming to talk to you about my navel orange. Uh, if you guys follow me for a while, you guys know that I've been growing this in the container for quite some years. In this last season, I actually got tons of oranges. They were amazing, they were so delicious. I couldn't stop eating them and um, I was happy to have them here in my garden. But I am going to be transplanting this tree into a bigger container. I've had it in this tree for about seven years and um, I've been contemplating when would it be the appropriate time to transplant it because as soon as I took the last fruit this tree went crazy blooming uh, flowers and it has tons and tons of blooms I showed, showed you guys previous video when this whole thing was covered with white blooms and um, the question was and actually a lot of you guys asked me this question whether I was going to transplant it after the fruit had set or while it was flowering or was I going to wait another year now I've been thinking a lot about this and I'm, I am a little afraid of transplanting it at this moment because the blooms are set, um, some of the blooms are still on here and hopefully some of this fruit will set for next season. However, um, I have to transplant it. It's just been in here for way too long and I want to use this container for something else and I have this wine barrel waiting here for it to be in use. So I'm going to take that risk and I feel a little confident about doing this because I transplanted my nectarine into a container while it was blooming and thankfully a lot of those blooms were able to stay and now there's fruit sitting on there and I'll show you guys a video about that because I've been neglecting that tree and I haven't showed you guys updates on that tree which is one of my favorite fruits that I'm growing here in Garden Love's Garden um, and I definitely have to share that with you guys but today I'm going to be doing this transplant 
Um, I guess we can consider this an experiment because we don't know what's gonna happen. If you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you guys can be notified when you guys when I post new videos like this, which I'm constantly doing with all the trees that I'm growing in containers. Um, I am gonna need some muscles, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some help to help me get this ginormous tree out of this container. And I'm gonna show you guys the formula that I use to all my citrus trees to ensure that they have the right nutrients and to ensure that they are um, set up for success and so they can grow, produce, and give you tons of yummy goodies. So stay tuned, I haven't done uh, repotting in a while, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, right? Let's get to it, and if you, have to have, if you guys have any comments, leave them down below.